Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Margaret Jackson with Cultural Broker, Inc. Margaret, welcome to the show. Thank you. Saying Cultural Broker, Inc. doesn't give our, our people any idea of what you do. So let's talk about what it is that you do because okay. it's very important. You, you're a family advocate program. So what we do is when life shows up for families and they find themselves engaging with the child welfare system, we right. help families navigate that process. That can be a very yes. arduous task for people. Yeah, and it's typically your life has fallen apart. Right. Something has happened. Your children have possibly been removed or at risk of being removed. So things are not going well. You're struggling, and you got to deal with the child welfare system. And that's something they don't teach us in school about, and our parents probably didn't give us that background. So the whole world kind of collapses on us, and we don't know what to do. And that's right. where you step in. Now. Right, right. Okay. So we'll walk alongside that family when they go to that family meeting, mm -hmm. and they're having those hard conversations so that the agency understands the family and mm -hmm. the family understands the agency. That can be... Uh that can be a real tough process for a family. Mm -hmm. When someone comes to you, you know, as, as a family, what, how, how does that play out for them? Okay, so usually where they're, they're coming to us, not voluntarily, it, in most cases. In yeah. most cases, the child welfare system has contacted them. They're investigating them about concerns that they have or uh, they've been reported. And so now they have to go to a meeting or they have to have them child welfare come into their home. Mm -hmm. And so it's during that process. And we actually started this work because of the over-representation of African-American children okay. in the system. And so we started that work um, to work with the disproportionality. And out of that, we began to uh, increase service to everyone because it's just a good process. No one understands it. No one does. And, that, and I worked there for 15 years. <laughs> you know? so, okay. Where did you work? Were you with the welfare? Department of Social Services. Were you yes. really? Yes. And so, then okay. Be, so you've been on the other side. Right. Okay. Right. right. And... Uh, and for, for parents, and, and I'm not going to make any judgments on, on the right. families that are involved because, I mean, it runs the gamut, right. you know. Right, right. Yes. But uh, that can be very intimidating for parents. It is. It is. And people think sometimes it's, they try to hide what's really going on. Yeah. But you can't get the help you need. Right. If you don't let folks know what's really going on. If you knew how to fix it, you wouldn't have been there in the first place. Well, you know, that is a concept <laughs> now, isn't it? Yes, it is. But... Yes. So not okay. Not only are you there to to help guide them, but but you have resources available to them, or right, you right. can direct them towards. We, right, we um, through some of our funders, like one of our major funders is the Department of Social Services, also the Sierra Health uh, Foundation, the really? Center, which okay. it's called now, and we have opportunity to offer them a trauma parenting class. Now that's okay. That sounds pretty <laughs> traumatizing. <laughs> well, actually, before we move forward, Margaret, let's. Define trauma okay. because most people think trauma is just physical violence, mm, right, right. and it's not. Right, right, and and really, it's it's things that are happening in your life, and especially if you're a child. Yeah, it's happening in your life. It's so overwhelming. It feels life threatening. You don't think you can survive it. You can't even. As adults, we struggle with some of the stuff that we see and we hear in our own. That's, that's a fact. And it can be physical, emotional, it can be all sorts of things. But it's not just stressful. Right. It's so overwhelming that you feel, your life feels threatened. Yeah, and it's it's crippling. Right, okay. right. And it's not just, oh, I'm stressed and I'm having a hard time. It's like, You yeah, oh, had a tough day. Take two yeah. aspirin and no. go on your way. No, it doesn't work no. that way. No. So, okay, you got this class. Tell me about this class. So it's an eight-week series. It's a workshop. And what we do is it's geared specifically for parents whose children experience trauma and in most cases in their own care. Okay. So it's the trauma that I've caused in your life. Now I've created this havoc in your life. You're struggling. Your child is having a hard time. So we are trying to help them understand how to work through their own trauma and heal the trauma that their children have I was going to say, that's got to be... For, that's going to be tough on the parents, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because it triggers stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to help you through the violence you saw, the sexual abuse, or whatever happened in your life, or when I was getting high and I wasn't there and wasn't able to show up and protect right. you. Well, I'm trying to help you through that while I'm the person who, who caused that in your life. And, it tri and most of the families we serve, they've had their own trauma that they never addressed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not just a one-off. There's... 
there's a chain of history that that's call involved. them trauma triggers trauma, <laughs> and things go. trigger so what they're uh, you know and they don't have the stuff to navigate it for themselves and they end up repeating you know how you say I'm never going to grow up to be my parents mm. well you are then that's it you don't know anything else I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you one of my more favorite quotes because if I can get it right <laughs> it's the things that we we do and say are limited by what we fail to notice right. and because we fail to notice that we have failed to notice yes, there's is. little that we can do to change until we notice how failing to notice affects our thoughts and deeds and that's and that's right. the that's the conundrum that parents are in right. you know they've right. they've experienced they grew up in maybe a toxic environment right. not going to be what mom and dad was mm -hmm. but guess what mm -hmm. they are what mom and, but they don't spirit. notice it it's yeah. in your, it's in it's encoded in your DNA. And so you you and have a class that you're offering for, for right. And so really, it's all about you know really getting in touch with the stuff that you haven't dealt with mm -hmm. and recognizing that was in fact tra traumatizing, that was crippling, that has interfered with my ability to show up for my children and, and so how I parent. It's a win-win situation all the way around, yes. isn't it? Yes. Well, that's so awesome. They get a little healing, and then they're able to not give the gift huh. to repeat itself. But they get to choose right. the type of parent that they want to be and support the healing. That's awesome, Margaret. Yes. What a great, what a great profession to be in. That's really good. Yeah, it's thank a, you for sharing. Sometimes that. teaching it is traumatizing, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Good. It's worth it. Well, thank you for being with us. Before we leave, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, they can contact our office at five five nine four eight six one four seven seven, or they can email us at culturebrokerfa.com. And when does this class start? Actually, right now we're taking recruitments to try to find out what's the best night and all of those things. Okay, we so we're in the early formative stages, right. and the cost is perfect. Free. Free. Doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> That's it. Maybe you're not in the home, but maybe you're aware of a home. You know, you might even want to show up because tools are tools that we can use in our own life. And anything we can do to help our younger people, it's just awesome. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for you having me. You come on back and we'll talk right. some more. I'll, do, right? I'll bring some of my people. There you go. Bring some of your people. All right. And I'll see you when we come back. Thank you.